Right on, right on. Do I need the code word? Or are we ready to go? Right on is the code word, so go, go. All right. Here we go, everybody. Welcome and thanks for joining us here at the Endre Cup Extraordinaire as we do have another matchup between Knight and Ann Nurcio. And Nurcio spawning over in the bottom right-hand corner of Shakira's Plateau as the Red Zerg. And over here and the bottom left, we have Knight and spawning as the Blue Protoss. Nurcio currently sitting plus one on his score compared to uh, the donut that Knight End is currently sitting on. And it looks like Knight End actually laying down that pylon in his natural experience expansion possibly hinting off towards an early expand once again from uh, from our Protoss friend Niden. Let's just hope for Niden's sake that he's going for a forge play first this time and not for a gateway and just imagine and compare those two um, games uh, uh, maps we just saw in Terminus the entrance to the natural is way bigger than this uh, ramp here uh, at Shakura's Plateau and we are playing on the Oh, actually, the guys. Uh, we are playing on the new version of Shakura's Plateau, so no backdoor entrance, and we, they are spawning next to each other. Actually, this is the wrong map, but looks like nobody objected here, and they are playing uh, on the uh, latter version of the map and not on the TSL version on the map. And yeah, yep. sometimes you have to just stay in the game. Unfortunately, I was super busy that I was not able to ent attend the games live myself. But anyway, so both players is agreed not a problem with me and looks like nurture is trying to um, get an expansion up here but he's just faking it because he does not have actually enough uh, minerals to do this and knight and was just running around uh, with his probes trying to defend this uh, possible, but there we see the Zerklings out. Now, uh, Nidant knows about those Zerklings, and let's just see, Nidant, he went once again for a gateway first, not a forge first, and I'm a little bit afraid for Nidant right now, to be honest. Yeah, you know, I am too, man, and I think uh, Night End uh, wasn't, able to g or wasn't able to go up and spot that spawning pool. He did chase that drone on the way out, so it was a little, little bit of effective counter-scouting from Nurcio. Nurcio gets right up past this semi-wall-off and will go right up against that pylon, now taking out the Zealot, getting all around there. The Zerglings going nom, 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 nom. Taking out that, uh, taking out that zealot, and now uh, they are trying to take out that pylon. There's a full wall off, however, with another pylon. All the some drones coming off the line now, trying to deal with these zerglings as they do take down that pylon. There is another pylon here being worked at, and it looks like uh, it looks like Nurcio is just trying to drone up. Um, looks like he is, and I mean, he is on one base. Um, Nidant, of course, is still on one base as well, but he now will be forced to use so many probes to get rid of those three Zerklings in his base. Meanwhile, at the same time, the Zerklings pounding at his front doors are not there anymore because of this Zealot out. And usually, in the first place, uh, Nidant planned to get a cybernetic score after the first gate, but he decided to get the second gate uh, anyway, just in case of a possible oh, no. all-in attack here of Nurcio. And did you see that pylon go down? That was the yeah. money pylon! Because there is, he will not be able to have any power to that cybernetics core. These three Zerglings being desperate, be, just being big pests, going around, running away from that Zealot, poking away at this pylon here. They're going to open the floodgates once again. No, they're not! The pylon gets down to three health, and those Zerglings all perish, and it looks like there is another Zealot out in play from Nidan in front of Nurcio's natural expansion. Yeah, so this uh, Zealot was really... Uh this zealot who was keeping a uh, night end here in the game and a nice micro by him um, just one hitting those zerklings one after another new pilot is being walked in in his main base it looks like for the moment he was able to hold this attack off uh, more zerklings streaming in of course night end needs to watch out needs to micro his zealot here in the middle correctly not to guide to those uh, four zerklings um, the zerklings now take out the probe so no sure he is all over the place and when I I was talking to a beastie yesterday he told me oh yeah i finally able to win one or two games against cars but now i start losing against nurture and nurture was actually the first player who qualified for the main event now taking down the pilot and he's just streaming in with more zerklings right now
And he has supply blocked and critically supply blocked. Night end. Night end now also going for that warp tech. These five zerglings trying to be as much as much pest as they can, trying to take out as many of those probes. They have opened up the floodgates, taking down that first pylon. As you stated, a forge is now on the way out from Night end, and Night end is just chasing these zerglings around with his two zealots. He needs to get that stalker out. He needs to be able to uh, take down those uh, take down those zerglings with some range to play here. And it looks like Nurchio is actually going to lay down a couple of spine crawlers in his base, as well as go for that third extractor. Yeah, spine crawlers are really, really good. Uh, let's just say building or unit or whatever you want to call it to have, um, because they are powerful. They do not cost that much, and they have quite some damage available with their impaler tentacle. And taking a look at the harvest account right now, we see Nurchio here at the forty. Um, Drone mark 27 probes for Night End, and he's in the supply lead as well. Night End just finished with his Nexus, so he needs just to get up some units. He knows the only possible way in his base is at the front, or is via drops, or a possible Nidus ram. So if he's just getting out some sentries uh, and he is able to force field his ramp, he might be in a good enough position to hold this next possible attack off, going for the second cannon. And he's actually deciding to go for the double Stargate. So looks like he wants to make something happening with the phoenixes and to be honest i actually like this idea quite a lot i definitely like it too man it's nice to see those double stargates coming out in reaction to all this ground play coming down from nurchio now nurchio has finished up his lair tech and is now getting that nidus worm as that <laughs> nidus worm will start to poke out uh we do see range attack upgrade level one going down for uh nurchio right now as more of these phoenix start to amass on the field so let's just take a look at the vision of Night End. Here in the top area of his main base, he doesn't have no, no vision. Here on the left side, he does not have no vision. And take a look in the bottom left, Nurch has got an Overlord here in production, in position. And let's just see if there will be a possible Night Worm in the bottom left. And Nurch, I mean, uh, Night End, he's got a lot of Phoenixes, but he does not have a single Void Ray to possibly deal with this. And there we go, the Night Worm is coming up for Nurch. Ooh, and I can hear that Nidus Worm starting to fill up as this queen gets picked up and starting to get shot at and destroyed. It will go down and shower those drones with some blood as we see these uh, Phoenix go all around. And the Nidus Worm has popped out. These Zerglings are all inside of Night End's base. Night End is in, a fr in, is in frantic mode here as he does have these Phoenix out doing some harassment, but not going to be able to pick up and take out any of those buildings. So he's going to need to lay on some other aggression, but he's not going to be able to because look at all these freaking Zerglings inside of his main base right now. His only base that will survive will be the natural expansion. He will need to defend that off heavily here as, uh, as we are going to see. And looks like um, Nurture will be able to take the second game here as well. I mean, Night and he is bunkering up, so to say, fortifying his natural expansion, which is now his new main base. And there we see the Void Race I was talking about. Let's see about those sentries not picking and building any sentries, any force fields here just in time. A lot of those uh, Zerklings get in, and let's just see how much more damage they will do, at least it looks like for the moment they will be able to um, do enough damage to hold those Zerglings off, especially the Void Ray Mentor here with the 8 kills already, but uh, I'm a little bit worried about Night End anyway, because Nurture, he's more than double the supply right now, the Phoenixes were just idling in the top right, so it looks like Night End is actually uh, one of the participants for the TSL 3, even though he got out in the first round, still was able to qualify there, is not up to his game today, because we see Nurture are already in the perfect transition. 11 Hydras are on the field right now. He's still got the Nidus Worm active. Um, some of those Hydras lifted up by Night End, but here they are popping out at this Nidus Worm pretty, pretty soon in the base of Night End. Or not. <laughs> oh, once again? Yeah, here we go. Oh, sorry, man, I was on mute. <laughs> but anyways, here come these Hydras. They are getting picked up left and right and trying to be dealt with. But Night End's going to throw out that GG. He knows he can't take it, and he will not be able to, so he does throw out that GG. And Nurchio takes the win, bringing him to two points, and Night End on zero.
So, Nerd, you're up 2-1, and um, looks like the Empire guys we are having here in my tournament are doing really, really, really good. But this series is not yet over, it is a best of 5. Nerd, you're up 2 points right now, so we will have at least one more possible 4 more games here. Uh, three more games here, and let's just see where this is going from here. Putting you on the rating screen once again, and the game number three will be up in one minute.